Hey, good morning everybody. Jungle Jerry here. I have unloaded the greenhouse a couple of days ago. Got some stuff uh, put back out here. And I thought I would show you some of the aftermath of the late April freeze that we had. Now I'm going to put up a picture of uh, what my hibiscus and my banana trees and the different garden beds look like. And it wasn't great, I can tell you. Anything that was touching the frost blankets got hurt. I actually had to cut this one back, uh, cut off all the dead leaves, and uh, I actually cut the roller of the banana tree, or banana plant, it's not really a tree. I cut that back uh, to get all the dead stuff off, as you can see right there. But she will bounce back. All of this stuff is going to bounce back. It just set me back, and it set my plants back, the stuff that I already had in the ground. And the main reason for that was simply because stuff touched the frost blanket. And they said we were going to get down to 32 for a couple of hours. We actually hit 32 at about 1.30 in the morning. And then we rocketed on down to about 29. And for a few minutes, we were sitting at 28 degrees. But you can see right there where we're at right now. And like I said, I cut off a lot of the uh, dead stuff, particularly on the hibiscus plants. I had a lot of dead uh, leaves on there. It's uh, quite often it'll take two or three days for your cold damage to show up. So you may think you've got it all cut off and then you'll see some other stuff. Uh, it's okay. The root zones on everything are still good. Uh, so they're going to come back. Just consider it an early spring pruning. I think I'm going to put some crotons out here. I got Dum Dum put back out here. Katie wanted to call it Dum Dum, so the so this is Dum Dum, and this is Rum Rum. The portulaca had some really beautiful little flowers that come off of it, but I love how she gave the thing bangs and a little mohawk there. Very cool. I cut the leaves off of the top banana here that got all damaged, and the roller, and it's already pushing out this morning, so that's great. My sagos did okay. These things survived an ice age, so 32 is not going to really bother them that much. I put a double layer of protection over the Cordelline Harlequin Fructosa. They really don't like the freeze, and they're doing pretty good. Got some pretty good damage on this one upright elephant ear, ear here. It's, uh, yeah, that's about wasted there. I'm leaving it on, though, because I'm still getting photosynthesis out of the rest of that leaf there, so I want to get that. And I've got more banana leaf damage i got to deal with there. I put pots over the begonias. And they needed a prune back anyway. They were really gangly from growing in the greenhouse around stuff. So I uh, give them a little cut back and uh, they'll be fine. Oh, the humanity. i got my plumeria back in the ground in their pots. Uh, I need to throw some more mulch over that and hide that. The Borneo Giant. Yeah, it was touching right there. You can sure tell in there. I'm letting it alone, though, because like I said, photosynthesis. We need more of it. My upright elephant ear here. This is the uh, companion to the first one that I showed you. They were growing together, and so I divided them at the end of the growing season last year. I got to leave this center one on even though it's got all that dead because this thing grows out of the center and so I need that there so I can get another one and, and keep her going. But I got one leaf there that's just, it's toast. Golly, so sad. You give me rum rum dum dum. And as far as further planting also, I've got an Adenidia palm. It's a Christmas palm that I'm going to pot up here, this double one. Uh, these are some windmills that I just I had in the greenhouse. Uh, and then I've got a sable that's starting to take off now. I'm going to get all that stuff potted up too. We've got some bougainvillea and foxtails and more crotons and all that stuff. Last night I potted up a couple of our majesties into really big pots. And uh, I'm going to have them flanking the entrance to the pool there. One thing I do want to show you is one that I, a windmill that I potted from a three gallon pot two years ago. And it absolutely loves growing in that winter protection barrel in the winter time. And it does, hi guys, does really good. 
we still have a lot of work to do in the pool area. The pool area, usually we get to this area and the gardens around it in May. At this point, I just wanted to get some of these palms potted up and brought out here because right now the focus is on the patio area and getting it all cleaned up and planted up and looking good. How is your garden planning coming along? Let me know in the comments down below. We appreciate you watching very much. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them as well. There's the, uh, the palm farm. That's a lot of windmills there, and I got a whole bunch. I still got a pot up too over here. It's crazy. I got so much stuff to do. Well, guys, that's just a little update on how the garden fared and what I've got going on. Well, I really appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Got a big project coming up on the Tiki area. We're going to be doing a Tiki ceiling in uh, Lao Hala matting and bamboo. It's going to be great. You're going to want to see that if you are into Tiki at all. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.